I got the wink. The wink? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Do you do that? Will you ever pay for coffee? Or anything thinking about it? Mate, not if I can help it. This is the life, eh? Mm. Anyway, how are you doing? Yeah, fine. Yeah? What have you been up to? Well, um, it was quite riveting actually. So, came here this morning, went to a seminar, and then, shocking twist, came back in. Quite the day. Oh, Harry, that just sounds so. Oh, nice one, thank you. Oh, nice one, thank you. <laughs> Fuck out. Yeah. Let me enjoy my breakfast, thank you. That's you. I haven't got much to say, really. It's just. I've got creative block, it's stressing me out. You always say this. What time do you call this? I'm sorry, I've got a job, rent to pay. <laughs> yeah, for your parents. <laughs> I'm not getting into this. <laughs> Look, Harry, I'm serious. You're like Picasso, but not a cunt. I mean, with one though. That could be your marketing. I do illustration. Oh, don't. Don't do that like thing that you should always do when you look at each other like. God, the lazy paper straight. She can hear you. I'm not a fucking cowboy. No thanks, partner. No worries, young lady. Sorry <laughs> if you watch an environment as dire as mine, you'd appreciate the smaller things. Fucking constant cycle of clocking in and out is so mind rottingly dull. Do I remember I have these lovely ladies to entertain me for a few minutes? Yeah, at least you have a job. Isn't that the dream employment? I mean, I'd kill to be eaten for a few shifts. What's academia saying then? It's <laughs> like that. Shall we unpack that? Rather fucking not. I'm fuming with myself. If I could, I would batter 18 year old me. Just bad decisions after bad decisions. You know, I'm. Studying myself to tears every night for a career and a course that I have no fucking interest in. And then when I stop crying, I think to myself, why, for the whole three years, I couldn't find a backbone to get the courage to just drop out. I'm here, you. <laughs> Thank have you. one of these. There you go. Oh, to people watch all day. Mm. Yeah. It's a sport, really. <laughs> it's odd. I'm coming so invest in someone's life for 20 seconds. Who they are, what they do. God, we'll find ourselves in their shoes soon when observation or a stroll becomes a luxury and just finding the quickest way to get on with your day is the norm. I found myself doing it recently. Hmm. You'll be all right though, Harry. I mean, soon you'll be drawing in a big white studio. It's idyllic, really. Alex, I'm on an art course. A course for art. Like, yeah, I'm an artist. I can call myself one for now. But sometimes I just think, oh my God, I'm in debt. I'm 21 and in debt. How many pictures have I got to sell or bar walls so I can buy a house? And while I'm working in said bars to pay off my debts, or will I be able to call myself an artist? Probably 20 years away from an idyllic studio space. Yeah, but you need to go mad to be one of them. I'm about halfway there. Nice day for it though. For what? To go half crazy? No, you dick. People watch. Do you know what else the day is good for? How dare you put that thought in my head? Wait, Mia, where are you going? Shop. <laughs> Oh, 
How many more of these do we have left? What the fuck are we gonna do? Did I grow up too quickly? <laughs> That's my problem. I was just so eager to change, to leave adolescence behind that I, I just consume myself with the thought of if it's not uni, then it's a job. And I was, I was so impatient with myself that to try and stay in this very moment. I ended up maturing too slowly. That woman that doesn't know when the party's up, because <laughs> way back when, <laughs> I missed my chance. And what, when my brother has a kid, God help me, labeled the alcoholic aunt, because I choose to have a glass of wine on a weekday. Because I'm not rich, I won't be classy. Normal. If I cling on to the memory of us sat here, random weekday, getting way more pissed than we know we should. But it's fine. Because we were young, we didn't have any cares about the world or what responsibilities we had. We just never how we wanted to. We could. <laughs> I just don't want this to end. And I know it's ordinary and nothing really happens. Well, I was 21. What else was I supposed to do? You know, I'm not a fucking prodigy. I don't have omnipotent A-level results. What am I? A bit drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, drink maybe a little bit. <laughs> I know we'll be okay. We'll find our own path. And I know people do all sorts just to get on. And they find the happiness within the Fridays after a long week of labor, but I cannot live for one day in the week. I, you know, I just, I want it all. It's not too much to ask for, is it? You know, maybe, maybe life is, about working really hard for that nice house that you really want. I can't believe we evolved into this, <laughs> right? Like a fish grew legs, <laughs> and now we're here. I wonder if the fish ever thought, yep, this, this was a mistake. <laughs> Maybe the fish didn't even want legs, but you know, made a commitment and was too embarrassed to turn back around. I don't want to evolve anymore. I guess that's not up to us though. Evolution. It's all about change. Decisions. Regret. You're at this peak, right? And you feel like You've spent so long crafting your perfect self, meeting your people, people that you longed to meet since you were 13, people that you couldn't imagine life without, people who you can communicate with and love so effortlessly. The one look across the room is an entire conversation, one word bringing back that particular memory and Although everything is hectic and you don't know what you're doing next week, it, it feels peaceful. But then, after three, maybe four, five years, you have to learn to not be that version of yourself. You can't be that version of yourself because now everything is expected of you. And even if you enjoy who you're working for, company that calls their employees family but barely pays a living wage, or on your winter morning commute, developing a superiority complex over that person that made that cup of coffee with the wrong milk. 
you will always be striving to have your time again. To force and relish in this moment that comes so naturally to you now for just 10 seconds. 